right, so we're going to take a peek at some of the triax off the UC210 here. So train does what we call low side switching. So this blue wire here, we're going to measure all our voltages over here at the actuator just for ease of operation here. So if we look on that blue wire, that's our hot leg. So there's our 24 volts going to our actuator. This is open right now. We're not actually calling for it to drive open or drive close. So these ones here should be zero. We get a little bit of trace voltage off there just the way our triax are wired up and the way they sit. So that black and that red wire is what we use to drive open, drive closed. When we tell this actuator to drive open, then basically it will short that leg to ground, completing the circuit. And so as we measure across here, we will get that voltage drop coming across. So our actuator just came on, it's driving. We can see we get the full 25 volts across there for that voltage drop across here. But as we measure each leg to ground, there's the 25, that's our hot leg coming in. The other side is zero, that is basically our ground. That's our completed path back to common on our actuator and our actuator drives. When we reverse directions and we drive it the other direction, then that common is going to change from the black wire to this red wire. So off of here, we still have that 25 volts from the blue to the red. Blue is still our hot leg at 25 volts, and that red wire is now become our common as the actuator drives in the other direction.